Um, it has been quite a while since I have picked up the camera and vlogged. So quite a lot has happened. The re like the main reason why I haven't vlogged is because my laptop has literally died, like shit itself, and it's not turning on anymore. Um, so yeah, back to our like fave spot. Uh, I got my hair cut by an actual professional for the first time in like six years <laughs> um and i flip and love it they put like long layers in it and everything so it's just not just like boring <laughs> i don't know the color is very warm and orange um i haven't done anything to that so that's why it has just like looked disgusting this whole time um yeah so my laptop has shit itself. I'm going to the Apple store today because I finally have some time to just go and like can wait any time and everything like that. So hopefully they can do something about it. I don't have like I can't find the receipt or anything for it because I bought it like three years ago. So I don't even know if it's still under warranty or anything. I don't know. Boring stuff. Um, so yeah. And also say I'm going to go and get my nails redone because this is what they currently look like. And I just hate the color. Um, it's a very dull blue. It kind of looks like blue tack. Um, and yeah, I really am just not here for it. Ah, uh, yeah. So I am very happy lately. Um, yeah, I got eyelash extensions, by the way, if you can't tell. And I freaking love them and I think I'm addicted now. I never used to get anything done. Like, I never used to get my nails done, anything. But um, now I'm quite addicted and I'm spending too much money. But it's fine, you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Hello, I'm back from the shops um, where I got my nails done. They're a bit too pink for my liking. Every other colour that I picked, they were like, oh, that one's too clear. Like, it's not very opaque. And I was like, okay. And then the other one, like, they said we don't have enough, like, powder to do a full set. And I was like, cool sick love my life and then i was like okay i'll just get this one so i just got this like color i got them square and like pretty short and i don't know how i feel about it um but we'll see hopefully with like a tan because like my body's not tan my face is kind of though um yeah hopefully it will look better also update on the laptop situation I was gonna go to the shops that have the apple store like kind of near me which isn't the city the city i don't know what's wrong with me i have a really bad headache like i got up after eating because i ate something at the shops and oh my god i got up and my the back of my head is like pounding i don't know what's wrong with me so after this i'm gonna go and lie down on the couch and hopefully sleep a little bit because my sleeping pattern is really weird i wake up at like 5 30 sometimes and i can't go back to sleep so it's really fun um, anyway, so with the laptop thing, um, I realized I have to book an appointment at the Genius Bar. I can't just walk in and just be like, fix my laptop. My order came from Mecca. Hmm. I'm going to open it. The reason why I wanted to, um, order something from Mecca is because I am getting really bad pimples. And I saw that a lot of people use the Mario Badescu drying lotion or whatever it's called. So I've wanted that for ages, even though I never really get pimples. I don't know. It always looks cool if people have pimple cream on. And also, like, the shipping was, like, free over th if you spend over $35. So I had to get something else as well, which is fine. Um, oopsie. I can't remember what I got, to be honest. But I got three little samples as well. I got a, I don't know how to pronounce this, a Malin and Goatet, Goats Detox Face Mask little sample. I love these. Um, I got the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Really wanted to try something from um, Drunk Elephant as well. I also got this Amoro Vixa Budapest Deep Cleansing Mask. So everything I got was to do with skincare because I freaking love skincare. Um, wow, I have not seen this box before from Mecca. Love that. I love how they package things. It makes me feel so special. Oh yeah, I got the um, Too Faced lip, in lip Injection Extreme because I freaking love when my lips look plump. But I'm not here to get lip injections because, yeah, I don't want to get needles in my lips. I'm too scared. So yeah, I got the drying lotion and I'm really excited to try it. Probably try it tonight or if I take off my makeup today, I'll try it. But um, yeet.
do not shake the bottle before bed after cleansing and toning dip a clean dip <laughs> wow i love being able to read um <laughs> Hmm, where was I up to? Dip a cotton swab into the pink sediment at the bottom of the bottle. Dab directly on the surface blemish. Do not rub in. Let dry and rinse off in the morning. Do oh, you have to sleep with it on. Imagine if I forgot to take it off in the morning. I'd probably do that. Um, do not use on broken skin. Do not apply to eye area. If product gets in eyes, rinse well with water. Cool. Target pesky problems with the original on the spot solution i can't believe reading that my head hurts too much anyway that's all i got from mecca i really want to put this lip injection on so we're going to do that i'm just going to wipe off this lip balm that i have already on i freaking love lip balm so much i love the carmex one that one i'm addicted to like the one in like the squeezy tube but i have a like a roll-on kind of one not that good so yeah Ooh, it's metallic. What the heck? Look at that. Can you even tell? It's like green metallic. Love that for me. Oh, nearly dropped it. What does it say to do? Does it have directions? Not just chuck on your lips, you idiot. Cool. I'm going to go and rest now because my head feels like it's about to like explode. Ooh, it's tingling. Ooh, it's hurting a lot. It smells really weird. Oh my god, it hurts so much. Instant and long-term lip plumper. Oh my god, it is burning me. Instant sexy lips. <laughs> Are my lips going to fucking fall off? They feel... Oh my god, they look so red. I'm going to cry. Ow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, five to ten minutes. Let's do this. I'm tough. I can do it. Hello. I am starting off this clip looking like an absolute trash bag. Um, so basically, what I'm going to be doing in this part of the vlog is trying out Morning Glow Tan. I just really wanted to try a new tan anyway. And I was so happy when they reached out to me because I love tanning. Tanning is like my... The one thing that makes me like feel a lot better about myself. And it's an easy thing to do. So it's not like it's like costing me the earth it's not like it's bad for me um so yeah i'm really happy and excited to work with them um they gifted me a mitt as well which i've been using non-stop when i've been tanning um ever since i got this so yeah i forgot what i've already said <laughs> i'm gonna be trying this out i'm going to go and reshave my legs because this heat is making them grow so freaking fast like are you okay i'm not um, I'm going to be trying this out. I will show you guys how it ends up looking tomorrow as well. Like once I've left it on. How long does it say to leave it on for? Two to five hours. It says skin... Oh, wait. Okay, so the application process says ensure skin is clean, exfoliated, and free from any moisturizers. Pump foam onto a tanning mitt. Using circular motions, apply mousse directly to your body. Use remaining residue on elbows and knees. Apply a second coat of... for a of tan for a deeper darker color skin may be washed two to five hours after application depending on your preferred color darkness for best results rinse body without using chemicals yeah so never like when you go into the shower the next morning or like that night that you've tanned if you've tanned that morning whatever your preference is never use any soap to take it off don't even like rub your body you just stand under the shower um, not too hot, like don't have the water too hot, have it maybe like lukewarm and just like wait till all the guard colour just washes off and the colour of the water turns clear again. Um, I'm naughty and sometimes I don't do that, I just get out and just pat myself dry. Also, when you're drying yourself, pat yourself, don't rub because it will streak. I don't know how good this is for not streaking, it says that it's non-streaky but everything kind of claims to be something. So I really hope it's not but um, you never know until you try and I'm really excited to try. I've been talking for way too long about nothing so I'm going to finish watching Sky's vlog. Um, it's half an hour long and I've been procrastinating all day to tan and like just do stuff because it's so hot I'm just scared it's gonna melt off um, and I'll be uncomfortable so anyway I will catch you guys when I apply the tan so yeah or maybe just like after I've applied it I don't know 
I don't really want to show like what I look like. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll see what I do. Mwah. My family makes fun of me when I do that at the end of what I've spoken. Okay guys, so I didn't film like me applying the tan because I kind of felt a bit self-conscious and I was naked too. And I just really need to get it done. But oh my god, look, I haven't done my face. I put pimple cream on my face, obviously. So attractive. Um, this is how dark I am. I don't know if you can even tell. But this is obviously like the guard color, which will like come off. But you can see the massive difference between my neck and my face. Don't know how you can tell a bit better. Um, so yeah, I'm really impressed. It was really easy to like work with and everything. Like it wasn't hard to um, rub in. The color's really obvious so you know where you've been and stuff. Like it's so dark. Um, these are my legs. Like I actually changed race. <laughs> And I'm okay with that. So I'll show you how it develops and everything. Um, and yeah, I also used the mitt that they sent me, which was just this um, black mitt that has their little logo. I really, really, at the moment, recommend this tan. So that's so much fun. I'm gonna go eat pizza now. So yes, bye. Good morning. So I am about to wash off the like a guard layer of tan off so i went pretty dark like i'm pretty happy about it i don't think my hands and my arms are the same color but i'm happy because i don't really like my hands being so dark um so i don't know how to get like my whole body in but this is what it looks like that's the color obviously um that's my legs i think it came out a really nice color like i'm really happy with it um yeah, so I'm just going to wash this layer off and then I'm going to moisturize um, and hopefully the color still looks nice. Hello everyone. It is now, I don't know when the last time I vlogged was. I think it was last week. Sorry. I ate so much bad food today and this week, like it's awful. I have to stop. Like I really have to stop. It's so not good for my health. And I think it's playing on my mental health as well. I haven't been going through that great of a time at the moment. Everything just seems to be crashing down <laughs> around me. Like, to, like I don't know. I just am feeling pretty crappy. But I'm starting to feel a bit better. Like, today I feel a bit better than yesterday at least. So, we can only go up from here, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. What was I going to say? So, I thought I'd give you guys an update on how, I, um, how I'm going with the tan like a week later. So, the morning glow tan that i showed you guys a bit earlier in the vlog so it is like nearly a week later and this is how tan i still am shower every day i don't even moisturize like every time i get out of the shower it's not fading like gross like most tans do oh my god the camera battery's running out so i'm really impressed with that it does have like a bit of a weird smell not gonna lie like it kind of grosses me out a little bit because sometimes i put it on my face i always put tan on my face um it does break me out a little bit but all tans do like anything you put on your face that isn't like skincare that's suited to your like face will kind of break you out a little bit and just mess with your skin um which is fine i don't really mind i like a bit of a bronze look that i don't have to do with makeup sometimes so yes um what else was I going to say? Yeah, so, so impressed. I'm going to leave their website and link to the tan in the description box below. If you guys want to go check it out, 100% recommend. Thank you so much to you guys um, at Morning Glow for reaching out to me. I'm so sorry it's taken so long for me to get this up for you. Um, and it's not even, like, that great of a video. I'm really kind of, like, embarrassed because I didn't want to show, like, my body or anything on camera. I'm just so not happy with it right now. So I'm sorry I didn't, like, show you guys an application shot or anything like that. I can show you how the mousse comes out. So let's go into the bathroom. The bathroom is so gross right now. So this is the tan. I've completely annihilated it. So the top's quite dirty. <laughs> um, where can I put you? I'm going to put you here for a sec. I'm going to get my mitt so you have to shake it obviously and then you just pump it on and that's what it looks like like it's very very green based which is really nice i feel like green based um could be intimidating to some people because 
you might think that you'll turn out like Shrek, but if you use the right amount and you apply it properly and everything and you use the right tan, you won't turn out like Shrek. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.